So I have tried out a ton of AI no code builders, but one thing that I've noticed in every single one of these tools is whenever I try to go on and update something inside of my app, it would probably break something else altogether. And I always wanted that there should be a tool which can properly plan the tasks and execute them one at a time. You know, just like a real developer would do. A tool which can think multiple times before performing a task and integrate databases like Firebase or probably payment gateways like Stripe seamlessly. And that is exactly what has happened today when I came across this next gen no code builder, which will change the way how you plan and build your apps forever. So click the link in the description down below and you will land on data button. And as it says over here, world's first reasoning AI developer, which it is. Because when you try to build an app with data button, it doesn't just spits out the code like other no code tools. It actually goes on and plans it properly. It creates the tickets for each and every action that it's going to perform. And it's going to think just like a developer on how it is supposed to write the code, right? So let's see, I'm going to click on get started and I'm going to go on and log in with Google. And there we go. We are in. So we have to perform four steps over here. First is to provide the description about our app. Second, the requirements for our app. Third, if we have any inspirations and four, is what type of integrations like Stripe or Firebase, etc. right? So let's see. First of all, for the description of our app, I'm going to say, I want to build a React based invoice generator SaaS application with the following features. So, I mean, if you're someone who's coming from a non-tech background, you can also remove this React based from over here as well. And then I want to say, I want Google authentication inside of my app, right? a dashboard showing created invoice and also the subscription status of the user. We are obviously going to have an invoice creation form, PDF export functionality. We will allow users to have two free invoices, then $5 a month subscription plan using Stripe. And also we are going to use Firebase. And again, we are going to, you know, configure these things in the integration steps as well. So let's click on continue. Now over here, it says, do you have any requirements in your mind? And actually, I don't know. Right. So how do we generate the requirements? Let's see. So I've opened chat GPT over here and I'm going to give it the same description that we gave over there. And I'm going to say, give me requirements for the same. And I'll click on reason over here so that it properly thinks about it and then gives us the in-depth requirements for our app. Right. So I'm going to press, press on go and you can see it is thinking. And now it will generate a document for, you know, requirements. If you already have a document of requirements, then that's completely fine. You can use that. Okay, so it has given me this. I'm just gonna copy it all up and I have pasted it right here in the notepad, right? Cool. So now I'll go back to data button and I'll click on over here and I've chosen that notepad file. Great. So we have done description requirements. Let's continue. So do you have any websites or images that we can use for inspiration? Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a Figma file or you know, the exact user interface design. You can also provide it some image so that it can take the inspiration or the feel of our app, right? I'm going to go to unsplash.com and let's just search corporate building, for example. Let's just take this one. Like I want my app to have this sort of feel, right? So I'm going to download this image real quick and also shout out to Sean Pollock for this image. So let's go back and try to select this image right here. Okay, I'm going to continue now. And now what are all the things that we want to integrate inside of our app, right? So let's say Firebase authentication. Right for database, we're going to be using Firestore. That's fine for payments Stripe for storage. We're going to be using Firebase storage. Okay, cool. Then I think these are all the things that we need. Let's start. So now you're going to see that this will work on creating our app. So notice how it has created all of these tasks and it's going to pick them one by one so that, you know, it does not messes up and tries to do everything at one time. Right. And you might be familiar with this type of interface, right? This is similar to a task management tool. So the first task over here is to create a professional landing page. And similarly, we have other tickets as well. You can click on a particular ticket and see what the description of that particular ticket is and what it's exactly going to do over there. So over here, it's going to start working on the landing page. Okay. I'm going to click on start task and notice just like a developer, it will tell you exactly what it's doing over here. So it's thinking and you can see exactly what it's thinking on how it's going to build our app. So if I click on over here, you can see. This is the observation and this is the plan that it's going to execute next, right? So again, you can see it has created some files and then again, it is thinking and depending on the tasks, this can take from a few seconds to a few minutes. So let's wait until it's writing the code. And there we go. It took roughly around 20 to 30 seconds and it has created the landing page for us. 
let's check it out. So I'm going to click on preview over here and there we go. We have our landing page ready just like that. Awesome. If you want to make any other changes over here, you can just simply prompt it. Like for example, can we give it a more modern SaaS app feel with gradient titles? Okay, let's go. And now you can see it is thinking that user wants a more modern SaaS feel with gradient titles. So it's writing the code again. And there we go. You can notice it has added a simple gray gradient to over here, right? We can also ask it to add some probably more colors to this, right? It depends on your use case. To me, this looks pretty good. So I guess this task is complete. So I'm gonna say looks good. So see, now it's asking me, so should I mark this ticket as done? So I'm gonna say, yes, mark it as done. Let's go to the plan again. And there we go. This ticket is now done. Now it's gonna start on INV-2, which is to set up the Firebase authentication with Google sign in. So I'm gonna say, yep, Let's proceed and probably it will ask me to, you know, integrate Firebase now because we will have to add our, you know, credentials for the Firebase over here. Let's wait to see how it asks us. See, would you like to add Firebase to your app? Yes, add Firebase. So now it has given us the exact step-by-step -step process on how we can do that. So let's just perform this. So configure auth providers in auth set authentication settings. I'll go there and it has taken me to this Firebase console over here. So I'm going to create a project. Let's just enter the project name as invoice zen, something like that. Google analytics, we don't need analytics. So let's click on just create project and this is preparing our project now. Okay, it is ready. Let's click on continue. What's the next step? Uh, configure auth providers and authentication settings, right? So this was the first step. So if I scroll down, yep, there are the authentication settings. Click on get started. Let's add the email password and also add new provider, I'll add Google sign in, right? So I'll say enable public facing name of for this project. I'm going to say invoice Zen support email. I'll just choose my email over here. Let's scroll down and click on save. Okay, there we go. We have added both of these things. Let's see, add these domains to authorized domains. Okay, we're supposed to add both of these links. So go to the settings right here and we have this authorized domain, right? So I'm going to click on add domain. Let's add this domain, add and then our app URL. So our app URL is not yet generated, right? But we will generate it very soon. And then we will probably add that right here, right? So cool. The next enable Firestore database if you want to store user data. Yes, we do want to store user data, right? So I'll go right here, Cloud Firestore, and I'm gonna click on create database. Next, and I'm gonna click on create over here. Okay, and there we go. It has created, if you have not used Firestore before, it's basically a database that you can configure from the UI over here as well. Now I'll go to project overview and click on this web icon over here. Let's name our app. I'm gonna say invoice Zen. Let's click on register app. And now we will get this configuration right here that we need to copy and paste right here. Right, so I'll just paste it. And yeah, I think uh, that is all we need to do. Let's click on install Firebase auth and see it is creating a login page for our app, logout, configuration, restart, and all of those things. So let's wait. Awesome. It is configured. Let's click on done. And now it's going to go on and write the code for the same. All right. Looks like it is done. It's telling us that we can click on get started on the landing page and then we can sign with the Google. Okay. So I'll click on preview and let's click on open preview. And you can see it has opened this preview in a completely different page. Wow. This looks amazing. So let's click on get started. And there we go. We have the sign in with Google button. Okay, I'm going to click on it. So it's signing me in. So it looks like we are in, but it just shows loading right here. Okay. So you can see this is slash dashboard page, right? So I'll actually mention it on the dashboard. It only shows loading. I'll just put it in double quotes. And also we want the login and sign up button on the header, right? So currently we don't have any login sign up button on the header. Also add login button on the header. Let's go. So it is thinking missing Firebase admin package in the back end. Okay, so it's identifying the issues over here and it needs to fix all of those. So let's wait. Notice how after it has installed the package, it is now planning to add the login button to the header, right? So just like a real developer, it is thinking step by step for every single feature and not just spitting out the code at once. After it has developed it, it is validating the UI as well. And by the way, while it's doing that, 
we can see we have this edit code button over here where we can manually go on and edit all of this code we have all of these different different components right here on the left side so this is fully customizable you are not just you know dependent on the ai to do everything if you know some amount of coding you can also do that over here as well but we're not going to do that right so i'm just going to hide the code and let's see all right so looks like it has done and it has added this dashboard as well as this logout button over here all right so if i click on logout yep we are logged out if i click on login we should be yeah redirected to this page let's sign in again but we can still see that loading indicator on the dashboard probably because it has not worked on dashboard yet so i'm going to tell it the dashboard still displays the loading fix it now one more thing as it is working right here you can also inspect the exact code changes that it is doing line by line okay so looks like it's asking us to provide a firebase service account key so let's go to the project settings service account okay let's do that project settings service accounts let's click on generate new private key and generate key right here so it has given us this uh, json i'm just going to copy it up and i'll paste it right here okay all right amazing now our dashboard is working successfully great so i'll go back and i'll probably you know click on done so mark has done for this ticket so you can see two tickets are done now now the next one is to build a dashboard to display invoices and subscription status so let's say let's continue all right so now it has started working on our third task which is to build a dashboard to display invoices and the subscription status okay so looks like it has implemented uh, the invoices list uh, feature over here but obviously we don't have any invoices right now right so what i'll do i'll actually go on and create this task as well i mean implement this task like create an invoice form with the professional template so let's click on start task so okay looks like it has uh, you know created our invoice form let's go and check it out if i'll click on create invoice okay yep we have this form right here let me just fill it real quick let's enter some dummy email some dummy phone number let's add some client details okay let's add payment details we can add the name of our invoice let's say invoice one invoice we can select the date and due date payment terms tax rate okay okay fine yep we can add some items over here as well let's say freelance work i'm gonna say i charge around 500 usd okay yeah i think all of this looks good so cool then i'm gonna mark this as done and yep this is how you can go on and build a complete app using data button you can go on and set up stripe subscription invoice limit tracking and much much more specially tailored for your own app and obviously after you're done you can click on this deploy button right here you can enter the username that i mentioned earlier right so let's say invoice zen i'm gonna click on confirm oh okay so it can only contain these so i'm gonna click on confirm simply click on deploy over here and mention the name of our app let's just say it is invoice forge so we can just open it by entering our username dot data button dot app right so i'm gonna click on deploy app it's starting the deployment and our app is successfully deployed so if i click on this again yep this is the url if i go on over here amazing our app is successfully deployed and don't forget that you have to take this url over here go to firebase in the settings authorized domain and you have to add this domain over here for your authentication to work right amazing so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and definitely click the link in the description down below and check out data button